<laughs> Have you just nailed it? Is he number one? Yes. <laughs> well, to be fair, if you weren't, I'd be concerned. Of course, it's really short. Once you go through the green gate, yeah. I mean, the, you need to know where the next one's where, going so to you're be. Looking That's for the blue. one is the blue one. Okay. So, so it's peripheral vision, yeah. kind of almost. So to... you go through a green gate, and but you're looking for the next blue. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So you know, blue. right. That's the case. Let's jump in the car and find out. <laughs> okay, so this is an example of these cones, okay? So on top, there's these light beacons. Once you've driven through it, the next set of cones lights up. And it doesn't tell you which ones, they just randomly light up and you have to immediately react. That is cool. So here we are. This is the iFace and I'm going to be driving for the day. First time that I've properly spent time in an electric car. I've had some experiences, but never as long as we'll have now. And we're with Hopin, no less, Hello. who is test driver for Formula E team. We're going to catch up with him inside and take this car for a spin and find out what the future feels like. Dead center of the game. Yeah, okay. Distance. Okay. It's yeah. the shortest distance through the course. So what Hopin was talking about, yeah. for vision, spatial awareness, you're looking for the blue gate because that turns simultaneously green. It's just your okay. guide through the course. So blue is just where I'm heading yeah. next? where you're heading next. And simultaneously when you go through a green gate, the blue gate turns green and somewhere else will turn blue. Okay. 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 No pressure at all. So long as I beat you, okay? Yeah, that's, that's it. So, um, yeah, we can't be beaten by Amanda as well. No, well, I already got the D. I mean, already... Yeah, but you've done it before. Hoping just laid it How down, man. I can't believe it. Every layout is different. Twice. Every right. layout is different. Exactly. So, yeah, I didn't my know. first drive. Oh, th is the key? No, that's on. That's on. <laughs> it's okay. on, it's quiet. Okay, yeah. this side. Then it starts. So it starts. Uh, now. now. I tell you, the instant talk is great. <laughs> oh, bro, I feel like I'm going to turn it on. No, I'm here. What have I done? Here we go. Behind us. There. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, I scrubbed up. I scrubbed up time there. That's a real shame. And then right, right, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That's it. Oh. As long as yeah, I've been as long you, as yeah. I've been and Amanda. Amanda walks away. Amanda's walking up. <laughs> Where are you going, Amanda? <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes, mate! Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, awesome. Oh god, that was good. Thanks nice for that, one. bro. That was awesome. Nice one. Well, oh, no. I never thought my first drive uh, oh. in an electric car would be so intense. It's more intense than driving a race car. I gotta tell you though, the instant torque, mm. massive help. It helps. Like just coming out of those corners, it's just, it's you so, know, it's straight some, there. Some corners are so tight. Yeah. Because you want to make the shortest distance, right? And then to have this, this punch out of the... That was so good. That's nice. That was cool. cool. Where's Amanda? She's hiding. <laughs> Amanda! <laughs> Okay, so out of the three of us, at least I wasn't last. And I don't mind being second to a Le Mans driver. That's okay. Now I just want to go and rub it in at Amanda's face some more. Where's she run off to? That's not too bad. So how far off your pace am I? I think I was a second quicker on the oh, speed. That's huge, man. Because you missed, you almost missed a game. Remember? I did, that's and we had that understeer you, moment. That's where you yeah. lost time. Okay. Well, accuracy is, seems even better than what I did. Well we make a good well team, well dude. If, if there's ever endurance beacon yeah, racing, yeah. you can set the time, I'll set the accuracy. <laughs> oh, there she hey. is. Amanda! Where'd you run off to? <laughs> there we go. I like this game. This is cool. It's like it, it is more than 10% difference, it? but it's a fantastic score, 93.69. So. Is that alright? Yeah, you see, that's yeah. higher accuracy than what I did. Absolutely. Excellent. Yeah. So anything for one minute? Okay. I'm glad that's on video. <laughs> to the track. Technically, you can drive the car with just accelerator. 
Yeah. As soon as you release accelerate, you can feel off. the regen feel immediately. The, yeah. that, that drag, wow. And you can see it on the dashboard. Yeah. When you release, there it goes. Charge again. Charges up. Okay, so there's there's more modes. Yeah, so there's more different driver modes. Driver so modes. how do we put it into dynamic? So we're going to dynamic mode. Now. Okay. Here we go. Just, oh, that actually changed the throttle response. Yeah. Like it does quite instantly. a lot. Right. We got dynamic mode. Is oh oh, we got a G sensor. Cool. G meter. You can see how All right. how many G's you can pull accelerating. <laughs> I keep, going, ramp, I keep going to shift gear, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, I remember when I had a, a more conventional day job. Um, my drive to work was like 15k. Yeah, right? but actually interesting because the range has gone up since we've left. Yeah, because we've actually been driving downhill quite a lot, and I've yeah, been and probably before I've been off throttle, and it's just been constantly gen. But yeah, so my daily drive back then was like 15k. So you're going to be able to do your entire week's drive on a on single charge. charge. Um, which is going to cost you, what, pennies? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go in dynamic mode again. Right, so, so I think the mode was we're talking now about the sound of this thing. I think one of the sort of criticisms that petrol heads have is that they don't have sound. exotic sounds, yeah. right? Now, obviously, we're in a more practical SUV type of style, so maybe sound isn't as important. However, We've discovered that it, it, it has its have. own character, mm. right? I'm not sure if this camera will pick it up, but we're going to give you some acceleration, which, by the way, is uh, incredible. Um, and torque. Yeah, mm. it's the torque, though. That's It's so thick with torque. And then listen for this quite high-pitched tone with this, like, under layer of this bassy barbel, yeah. right? All right. <laughs> You hear that? It's like the Jetsons, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's rapid as well. It is. You can feel the whole thing squat, and it just picks up and goes, and it feels like it has so much traction. And it's like a non-stop acceleration. Non-stop, yeah. Because you have no gear shifts, obviously. That's it. Mm. I guess there is no torque curve. That must yeah, just be just flat, right? Probably goes just there and then <laughs> instant, stays there. Yeah. Instant and flat. <laughs> This is why we're here. So the reason I'm actually in Zurich and around Formula E is that Jaguar very kindly asked me to come and do some presenting for their live stream during Formula E. So we've got two streams going on. We've got one going live on Facebook today, and then uh, just before the race tomorrow, we're also doing some Facebook Live. While I'm here, I couldn't help but show you around. There's three very unique things about this race in particular. The first one is that uh, Switzerland has banned circuit racing for the last 60 four years and this is the first time that it has been allowed to take place so that is a sort of moment in history in itself the second thing I'm not sure if you've noticed but I'm currently stood on cobbled street uh, so the pit lane the entirety of it is actually cobblestones which is going to be interesting for uh, drivers but also while these guys have been setting up they're wheeling things along on these big trolleys and everything's bouncing around and the third thing the entire pit lane or pit garages have been constructed from wood. It must have taken them three weeks to build this. It's only up for three days, but the effort and scale that is coming out of Formula E right now is incredible. Uh, what's fascinating for me is that the last time I was at Formula E was exactly one year ago. So to be around this now, to see how far things have evolved in just 12 months is incredible. Anyway, I now have to do my uh, live piece to camera, so we'll go and do that and then show you around a little bit more, more afterwards. There is then Hypefilm, then comes to JWW and I, we're on to four now. Okay, so we'll just slow that down a little bit. Hypefilm, Hypefilm's PT, so it's the, the first minute it's a PT. I'm going to, there's a fairly little bit of speaking from me, then I say, today we have a little bit of a chat. He comes back, loads more coming up to you, we've got our driver versus driver, this, that, and the other. through this lens 
fans is how unbelievably hot it is here. Uh, we were just saying at the end of that, uh, the end of that stream, I've never been so thankful for the sun to go behind the clouds. Such a contrast from yesterday. The rain was so heavy that this was a stream with so much standing water. Uh, so yeah, falls apart. Hopefully rain stays off for tomorrow, although I'm not going to lie, it would add quite a lot of excitement to the race because I think I'm right in saying the Formula E has never had a wet race. So could this be our first one? Who knows? Anyway, let's take a look around and then uh, call it a day. So one of the most unique features about Formula E as a motorsport, which is unique entirely to Formula E, is the fact that currently, until next year, drivers physically swap cars halfway through the race, because right now, in these early cars, the batteries don't last a full race. Next year, they're going to be able to do a full race on the same car and battery, but until then, they practice driver changes. This is nuts. Check it out. You have never seen a man get out of a car so fast as this. And that's that. Pretty rapid to change into a different car and get fixed in, ready to go. Okay, at the end of the day, this is the part where I ask you. I want to know your thoughts on the way the world is moving towards electric right now. Today I experienced something entirely new. I've got to say, the iPace drive was incredibly pleasurable, mostly from the angle of um, a daily dark driver point of view. I could definitely see myself in an electric car from a daily point of view. I'm yet to see what's going to unfold in the sports car and supercar world and arena in order to get the ingredients that are going to set us alight like we have with incredible uh, petrol engine cars. But it's early days. I mean, Formula E is only in its fourth year and the rate of development there is unbelievable. So I think it's an interesting time, but as a collective, I'm always fascinated to pick on your guys' points of view to see how this is all about to unfold and what your thoughts are on it. Yeah, today for me, incredibly interesting, um, incredibly enjoyable, but where's it going? What would you like to see? What are you hoping for? What are your visions for the way that the electric movement is going? It's definitely an exciting time, but it's also an unknown time as well. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. We're gonna pick up tomorrow at the race. Oh yeah, also I've been aware that the last week on YouTube I know has been fairly quiet on my channel. Rest assured, if you ever see me go quiet on YouTube but still active on social, it's because I'm planning things behind the scenes that are big. Can't go into it too much detail right now but I just wanted to let you know that if you were wondering where the recent content was last week, don't worry now it's back on track, things are simmering that I'm Fingers crossed, all comes off, but there could be potentially three fairly massive projects coming, hopefully, maybe. That's why I don't want to give too much away, just in case it doesn't unfold, but yeah, that's gonna be cool. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.